region I work in, in Esmeraldas, was for the most part almost a, an island to the rest of the continent. Until recent road development, this area was very hard to get to. And then with infrastructure development, you see a rapid change, not only in the environment, but also the social demography. My area of focus is really looking at the recent introduction of these North American style breeds of chicken into this region. In Vire, el 20% de las personas crían pollo broiler y el 75% de las personas tienen pollo criollos. Currently, I'm running a project out of northern Ecuador that looks at antibiotic resistance from chickens to children. The benefit of meat broiler chicken farming right now is that it, it's a fast turnaround and in this region there's almost no regulation on antibiotic use. So you can get a very large broiler chicken in about six weeks that you can easily sell in the market. Whereas the kind of native free-ranging variety chicken can take eight months to a year and a half and you'll never reach that same fat content. <laughs> What happens in the guts of, of any kind of living organism when it takes antibiotics is it clears the intestine. The chicken actually is getting a higher efficiency at food intake because it's no longer feeding the bacteria. They're loaded at the egg level, they inject them, they come from these factory farm settings and then they're transported out to these small rural communities. Broiler chickens are here to stay and by no means am I uh, against chicken farming or the use of broiler chickens. The issue comes really at policy and the use of antibiotics and I think the best resolution in the future would really having not only increased surveillance on antimicrobial resistance in these large farming operations but also regulating the types of antibiotics that are being used in these remote regions.